So this video is all things cervical traction. And I know it looks and sounds simple, but it is extremely important when it comes to overall spinal care. And that is because in the office before the adjustment as part of our warm up routine, the cervical traction actually allows our spine, the muscles and ligaments in our cervical spine to relax and better receive the adjustment. Not only that, but we spend a lot of our day right, sitting with poor posture, whether, whether we're driving, texting, reading, right, and we're putting our spine in the wrong direction. The cervical traction actually enables us to promote proper cervical alignment and make sure that we maintain and progress towards that proper arc of life as we go through care. Right, doing cervical traction, the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to look at is positioning. Okay, and for positioning, I want this upper cervical roll to be right under my chin. All right, once we establish that, I'm gonna maintain a posture close to the wall, and my goal is to drop down, allowing my head to naturally fall back, inducing that proper cervical curve. So I'm gonna show you a couple repetitions and kind of walk you through it. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna go reverse grip, and now my objective is to squat straight down, allowing my head to naturally fall backwards. And you can see how I stayed close to the wall. The one thing that we do not want to see is us coming away from the wall. Right, you can see how my cervical curve did not increase, right? but when I stay close to the wall, my cervical curve naturally falls into its proper alignment. All right, the objective here is we're gonna do 15 to 20 repetitions for our first week of care. All right, each repetition, we're gonna squat down and hold for two seconds at the bottom. All right, as we progress through care, each week I want each of you to add five repetitions to your total rep count. All right, so in the office before your adjustment, you're gonna start at 15 to 20 and add five each week. All right, at home, you're gonna do the same thing two times a day. And this is gonna make sure that we're maintaining proper spinal alignment, putting positive input into the cervical curve and progressing our care and getting the optimal results. If you guys have any questions in regards to this video or how to do cervical traction, please feel free to ask one of us doctors or one of our CAs and we'll be able to help you out.